Hi all, and welcome to the video. In this one, it's back on Rubicar, day five. Well, as you can see, I'm on my, well, probably least favourite tune. Uh, my MP. Yes, I am. The, every, every other person has one on uh, 2019 because, you know, they had access to pets and stuff, you know, so they could actually gear their tunes, unlike everybody else. How long am I doing on this? I got three hours left on the shield. That will do. It's nice to have 800 adult def. So, yeah, uh, why are we here? Well, simple. I think the Arbiter is still up. So I want to get the mission. Yes, I do. Why is my why is he my least favourite character? It just kind of is. I've I've got a two twenty a two twenty um, engineer, and um, yeah, the, I prefer both to this guy. It, it's just the way it is. I, I think uh, MPs. It could be, uh, someone said, oh, well, it, it you know, it could just be that they're Nano Mage, which is my least favourite breed of all. My very first character in the game ever. It was simply Kalos, not Kalos 2, was a um, Nano Mage pistol Advi <laughs> back in 2001, and he was... Pretty much a disaster. Yes, he was. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, you know, bad memories. I re-rolled him as uh, Solitus, which is how I came up with Kalos too, Because it was on the same account, and I didn't want to delete the guy. I think I got him to level 40. And, you know, level 40 is... It, it, at the time, early days, 2001, was a respectable level. Uh, you know, so... And he had lots of bits and pieces, so it was one of those. Okay, we've got that scooplet outbreak again. Let's grab the prisoner mission. Uh, yes, please, prisoner. Goodbye. I've done zero diddly squat with the guy. In fact, since the last update on this guy, I think I've done more on the MA. As in, rolled a paid MA and a Froob MA <laughs> literally leveled the MA to 220 before finishing research on this guy which kind of says a lot about how I actually feel about playing an, an MP I, I, I just get bored playing him quite honestly it just you know some of it was interesting and as a utility class they're very useful they're very useful for buffing your other tunes and your friends' tunes. And your friends' friends' tunes. What are we doing? Find ammo? Didn't even look. Salvage, yeah, find whatever. Find something. Okay, run around, find things. Let's look in the usual little nooks and crannies while looking at the minimap. You guys not following. Stands to reason. Okay. And I think Shadowlands next. Not even going to run outside of the mission. No, no. Okay, guys. Follow, follow, follow. Right, doja time. Yay. And of course keep thinking, see that, that's my um, Yidra, my uh, Mezpet, and I keep thinking that Insight into the Shadowlands is the same thing. It is not. Oh, did I even check that I have my boots on? Well, I do, apparently, because if I didn't, I wouldn't be very well right now, no. Yeah, there we go. No hold hell at bay either. Why? 
Well, on this guy, he's been wearing that pretty much all the time. So you get Nano Resist for 200. His Nano Resist is fairly high anyway because he's Nano Mage. So even though it's not a useful skill. The problem with that uh, is with MP, <clears throat> your weapons truly are your pets. I mean, look, dark blue on everything melee. And every melee special ranged. We have a repeat. <laughs> yes, we do. And range specials. That's only there for pistols, for buffing. Uh, yeah, run speed is mediocre. You've got good comp lit skill. You know, I've got 1980 for whatever reason. And then your treatment and first aid aren't great either. You know, so. Yeah. It, it is what it is. I, you know, I could put more into comp lit, but why, why would I want to do this? You know. So, yeah, the attack pet at the minute, that's a lefty. He is. He's just the 223. I couldn't be bothered to go looking for a wrangle. Uh, on that particular nano, to get the top tier version of him, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's to cast, and for the top tier, you need time, space, and matter creation to 3k. And we have time, space, enough there. But, you know, you can do things like add that, boost it, and the helmet. And also boost it and you can see there we're still not quite there matter creation and time space falling short by a margin there and for the extra three levels is that worth it on the pet the pet being well not even that two levels higher is, is that even worth all that jumping through hoops and to be honest I've had I've had him once and my honest feeling was no not really do I want to kill the one in the water? Probably not. I'm spamming follow because... Yeah, Krat I really enjoyed because... Great solo class to play. Yeah, this thing's here. I can put my uh, mez pet on him. You can see that taking damage from a something. Oh, you hateful little thing. They're, they're just so good. Yes, I've got nukes, I suppose, but I mean, they stopped being anywhere near impressive. Yeah, about 150 ish. Yeah, they're just just not a class I like playing, to be honest. Um, engineer, welcome in raids everywhere with reflect, blockers, blinds, and to be fair, pretty damn good damage. Like here, even these green somfies, I don't dare pull them all at once. Whereas on any other 220, I kind of would want to. See, this is going to attack me now. I'm, I'm going to be worried about it. To the point where, yeah, Healy. But as soon as he he heals me. I can probably get attacked by the Somphy himself. Yay, we got one. At least it was painless. We're going. Someone else can have your remains. Yeah, what research was I actually doing? Yeah, I'm fairly behind on a few of them. What am I on here? Jealousy 10. Nano efficiency. Okay. Trauma 4. Why did I stop so early? Oh, aim shot. Bow. Psychic in it. Ranged in it. Aim shot. Bow. Yeah, that one is pretty much everything about the bow. Otheosis 7, what did I need for that? I needed AI 25. Do I not have? Possibly not. I do. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, 
So yeah, I think a lot of it is just that. I mean, look at that, thirteen k HP. That's that's not very good. <laughs> Two twenty on anything. That's not impressive. So yeah. Yes, welcome to episode 5 of Cal Whinges About MPs. Just generally do not like them, and I like this one less. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he'd be more fun as a solitus. I am, I am seriously tempted to buy a breed change for him. Strip him and reset him as Solly and just see if it's any better. I don't know, it, it could be. It could be a lot, lot better. I don't know. Right, we've got the mission marker, which is useful. Because she will not talk to you otherwise. Take thing from me. Yay. Also got a prisoner mission, but yeah, I think I think for me MP is just not fun to play. I don't know. Uh, I didn't bother trying to make one on the 2019 server because everybody else had one, and I hate that. I hate being, I, I, I hate following the crowd. I really do. It, I've, I've always been. What do the, the Americans have a good word for it? Contrary, I think it is. I've always been very contrary, <laughs> which, you know, in truth, kind of works against me, I suppose. But yeah. It's it just it, uh, yeah never never been one for that kind of thing. Did that work on freelancers? It did two dailies. So I've got my regular daily, which is that bloody scoopler outbreak again, and prisoner. Man, prisoner's not too bad. Just sit back, let the pet get on with it. You know, and that that's kind of it. I've got all the top pet buffs etc so I mean they help quite a bit to make the pets kind of hold aggro etc so works a lot better on um, engineer though thing with en engineer and crat is your top tier pet is fixed at 220 uh, MPs can cast their pet up to 225 with scaling on nano skills but honestly those five levels are, they're not, they don't feel like five actual shadow levels do. You know, like the difference between, say, 215 and 220 on a character is quite a lot because of the amount of skill you can spend into on a character that high. But ultimately, yeah, yeah. I was going to do a 2019 episode today. Um, I logged in on the little shade and of course we died at the end of the last episode with with her and i haven't played her since so i logged in there was no one in guild online to get buffs so i thought okay fair enough you know there's no one online it's a funny time of day in the middle of a week so i thought okay instead of that let's um you know put myself on auto there you know and head to icc and there's just nobody there now, if, if that character was on this server, I could have given a hack and quack on <laughs> grid space freedom and gone, followed her around the wreck, got that done. You know, because you've only got to kick, click the um, terminal thing that pops up at the end. So I could have done that, but um, yeah, on 2019, I don't have that utility, so kind of like I was saying in the last episode, oh, I'm kind of getting bored and like, got two dislikes for saying I was a bit bored of the 2019 server how dare I say that <laughs> oh god people are so fickle yeah I only mention it it just makes me laugh when when that happens because this is how it works on YouTube if I got 50,000 if I got like a thousand views and 500 dislikes that's good met that that that's really excellent metrics as far as YouTube are concerned they would promote the video seriously that's how it works they don't care if it's a dislike a comment or a like it helps the metrics 
they don't dis- they don't differentiate you know when you see those like movie trailers and everybody hates on that remake or whatever it is for whatever reasons you know um those videos come up in everybody's feed because they're getting you know they're getting interaction so youtube just men- men- doesn't care whether it's a positive or negative um interaction they just go oh it's interaction interaction is a positive you know which is really cool because if you're one of these people and i've had them in the past where every single video within three seconds of uploading it um they've hit dislike so the, the you know the video has been live for 30 seconds it's a 45 minute 50 minute video there's no way they've watched the content in that video they've just instantly disliked so in order f- uh, to get the information that i've uploaded they're either watching my channel constantly or they're subscribed so someone doing that basically is a fan whether they want to be or not as far as youtube is concerned they're a fan Yes, they are. Let's wait for the pets, because there's no way I want to attack this guy otherwise. And using my big, bad, nanite enhanced nano shutdown debuff that only runs for 10 bloody seconds. There's nothing. Right, Q, go. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Send the pet in. Righty, you stay on follow. Because if you mez him, he'll just start attacking me. Healy. Yeah. Heal lefty. And that's it, I just sort of sit here now. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can do stuff. You know, he's having a go at me now. Oh, first aid. I've got a hot anyway. I mean, I could cast an other shield and do absolutely nothing else. But yeah, this, this is kind of it. I mean, I can get involved. I, I can go over and start hitting him. You know, for all the good it's going to do to me, I'm just going to pull aggro off the bloody pet. And he's got all the buffs running. Look at this new. Don't forget, I do play a 220 NT, so my idea of what a nuke should look like is a little bit different <laughs> from this. And the same is true with um, MP as well, and uh, MP with Krat as well. Their their nuke is stronger. Uh, lefty, heal me for a little bit, and can you? And now I'll go back and heal Lefty when he needs it. See, Le- Lefty's a bit is, is a good one there. Lefty can handle all this stuff. Right, or I must have linked that to this so I could chain Nuke. I do more damage with perks than I do with anything else. Channel Rage, did I? Yeah, I have done it. What was this one? Skill drain removal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sacrificial shielding. Don't really need. I mean, I can desecrate him. There you go. All three on him. And those are fairly nice debuffs, I mean. And this stack, you know, which is also pretty good, I suppose, which is why they're all still there. And then I can nanite debuff him. But yeah, it lasts for 10 seconds and there's a 30 second cooldown. <laughs> so compared to, you know, like the kind of debuffs you get on a crap, not all that great. But hey. Still, we are getting there, see? We are getting there. We're taking the bugger down. Why have I not got that? Oh, I have got that. I was it was like, why, why this no working? Lefty. Oh, he's got the debuff. 
Channel Rage. It's pretty good, really, I suppose. Plus 300. But what level do you actually get that at? So he's going to do more there, I suppose. Channel Rage. I suppose you have to get all the way to the end one for the Channel Rage perk to actually do anything. Because it starts off quite low, doesn't it? And then progressively gets better. We go. I mean, with two shields, this character does no damage whatsoever. However, gets hit a little bit less. And nothing I want on that corpse. Okay. Well, there's that. Now, the next mission, if I had to fly there from here, um, how would I do it? Because it is all the way over here in Deep Artery Valley, and I can't fly directly out of here. If I go east, I'm locked off. So I would literally have to fly all the way west, north, right the way across. I'm kind of curious what that would look like. <laughs> I really am. We'll, we'll, we'll start off and see how, how far off we are from that border wall. Let me zoom out and I'll kind of show you. So we're going to have to go through there, north a bit, and then all the way across again. Into wine. And then all the way that way again. No, that's just silly, isn't it? We're not doing that. <laughs> ah, the blue, blue water of tear. It's like blue loo disinfectant. Yes, it is. Horrible colour. Water should reflect the sky, and that is not doing so. Okay. It is time. A bit of uh, grid action. Am I a fixer here, or do I need to log one myself? A lobby shade. Trader. Hello, Trader. I've eight hours of useful. Now, Fixer, also have eight hours of useful. Have I got CI here? Probably. Yeah. Um, no CI for you. And, of course, Agent. There's an Agent there. FP is dock. There you go. Have that. Right. I am going to log my fixer. I'll switch to non-game capture. Straight monitor capture so you can actually see what I'm doing. Right. I chopped a little bit of that out because obviously I don't want you to see my account name or anything else. There you go. There's mine, there's a few on. As you can see. I don't know if it, all of them are there. <laughs> yeah, usually they're kind of like lurking. Where is he gone? He's over there. There you go, and we we are going all the way this way. Okay, he's inside, so back to that account and I literally just run him back over here and park him there you go and then tab back there you go you, you saw the under the hood version we go and no marker because it's not uploaded there we go frame rate pretty shocking actually while I'm doing it I'll show you a bigger readout there you go that's what I'm normally looking at you can see th this is with the reshade GPU load excuse me at 70 odd percent but I don't know, I've got two here. No, 72 degrees centigrade, 40% load. It just won't go any quicker. 
and you can see there processor overall at 18 percent and that is with obs encoding in h.264 <laughs> uh, you know at 50 uh, over 50 megabyte a second so really the issue here is not the system it's the engine itself it's nice that we get that tiny bit of reflection on the water trouble is the way it's sort of set up you very rarely actually notice that you need need to be here at exactly the right time of day etc what's that pet behind oh yeah the the in case they just oh, camera camera anyone yeah we don't need to be looking at that much longer do you oh, there you go so yeah it's it, it's the game draw calls something like that the thing I do in the graphics setting on the new engine in certain areas fixes anything. All I strive to do is try and make the bloody thing, you know, more. Three is kill. I'm going to lose this. Oh, God. Where is the usual? That's Basically, the way I've got this set up, that macro is pet lefty attack. All pets follow. All pets guard. That was an assist. Okay, got another poof there. That's what I attack with, you see. So I'm not actually attacking, the pet is. And he can go running after it. I, d I don't have to get involved. <laughs> Which is an advantage with any pet class. Okay, come on. We we require more poofs of smoke. Oh, there was one just, I think. Yep. Go get him. Get him, boy. Get him. Yeah, I should put those on as well. I could do with a set of those for my... Um, my MA, but they just haven't dropped in all the times he's been killing the prisoner. Which, if I'm playing, means at least once a day. Oh, there we go. And get him! Go get him, lefty! Try going a bit east. Yep, there we go. Another plume of smoke. <clears throat> oh, this one actually isn't running away. My God. And we have not very long left on there, which is kind of nice. 7,000k. Not bad. Considering what level were these mobs? And they're, they're yellow to me, so they're over 200, aren't they? Flatten lobies, basically. What was the old school thing on this island? Got nothing on the sub map. Island of fear and loathing. Ruins. What was... What was in the ruins? One of these, the... The... Pet... Oh, what was it? The pest. I think it was the pest spawns. Only now it's damn near right in the middle of a base. So, yeah. Is there a thing that spawns in here anymore? Ruins. It's not a static, but it is a mission entrance. Odd. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of odd little places on Rubicar. Whose reason for being there, etc. is lost in time. You know, it may have had a reason once and it's whatever been discontinued or what have you, so yeah. Anyway, we are done on the dailies, I think. It was fairly painless, but yeah, I just I don't know, there's just something about MA that doesn't sit right with me. And, you know, I wasn't about to make one there. The thing is and this is true of most pet classes. And this is someone who's played all of them um, talking here. But early on with pet classes, with outside buffs and wrangles, etc., you can 
you know, get a massive power trip because you'll be running around with a pet that's way beyond your level, like you know, double your level or or more. You know, so you're running around with a pet that can deal and take a great deal more damage. With MP, that basically stops dead at 150. Y your top pet just doesn't get a lot better until you're around 200. So you've got 50 levels of really, like, diminishing returns almost. And th this is kind of true for Engineer as well. And it doesn't seem as bad for... Um, crat though, because with the crat, all your calms and debuffs are getting stronger and stronger all the while. And I suppose you could argue that for engineer as well. But you do you do start because for like 150 levels, you've been relying on the pet doing all the heavy lifting, and then suddenly the pet is you know getting paler and paler. It's getting, it's moving from red to yellow. To eventually green virtually um, you know you get your slayer droid at like on live probably about as soon as it's you know the level lock is gone from it uh, and then yeah not so much so yeah mission complete goodbye and senior agency handler kind of has my reward now goodbye Alien Agency Handler, mission complete. Give him the doohickey. There you go. Making progress, folks. But yeah, when did I start this guy? Last year? We're in July, the following year, and I still haven't done his research. It's, it's just like, I just get bored playing him. I really do. And then I find trying to get teams a little harder later on. It, it, it's it's really sort of out of uh, whack on 2019 because you know and it every single time I've been in a beta and I was in the Shadowlands beta the AI beta I was in the Norton Wars bloody beta believe it or not there was one um, and we kept crashing the zone until they introduced crowd control and they did that in the beta and then didn't have it in the release and then put it back in later because nobody liked it in, <laughs> in the beta. Yeah, real kind of uh, mismatch. There we go. So we have... How are we doing? It feels like it just hasn't moved. <laughs> and it's not going to do much of anything anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It is a bit like that, isn't it? I could go and repeat the whole thing on the MA, I guess. Yeah, see the pet he's got there? Oh dear. No, not his. Okay, 109. See, at this point, he's looking at his pet going, wow, look at that, 183, and I'm only level 100, yeah. But when you're 183 and your pet's 200, yeah, that, that whole look at the uber pet kind of uh, vibe, it just goes, it does, it just goes. And I, I think a lot of people give up on MP at that point or, you know, think, oh, yes, but when I get the, the next thing, well, I've, I've got them all. I have the, the Rowan, the Ruin. I have more, you know, Morphicant and I have um, Yidra and, yeah. <laughs> You know, it just all seems... Yeah, was he talking to me? I think he was trying to get those from the other guy. <clears throat> he probably got them. So, yeah, th there's that. I've also... I did get that, you know. <laughs> Daft as that sounds. Okay, I am going to give my Inferno boots back to the MA. Going to give them back to the MA. I just actually... I'm going to do dailies, but I'm going to do them on my engineer. Just to sort of give you an idea about the difference in utility. Yeah, can we not have the item store rammed in our face every time we log in, by the way? That would be nice. Right, let's get some pets up in this house. 
Long cast time. There we go. Yay! Twitchy. My big bugger. Right. Reduce your size immediately. Buff him. Buff him with all the things. And we want... Taunt box. There you go. And we'll get doggy as well. Let's have dog meat. Yay, dog meat. Have buffs. I don't think he gets that one. Oh yeah, he does. And that's kind of it. That's all I ever do with these two. Then I just make sure... Which one's which now? I can't remember. Is this the team one or the self one? Ah, whatever. Doing both. They got shield. Yes, they have shield. Which obviously I can buff on anybody else. Which is nice. It takes a long time to cast that. And the green one. Do you know what's actually worse than engineer for rebuffing? Keeper. <laughs> and it's even even if you've got like super high um, kind of um, nano in it, it doesn't matter because the cooldowns on your nanos are huge. So what have we got on? We have engineer stuff, engineer helm, but you never see it because it looks absolutely terrible. I mean. I, th I think I did that in an episode and looked at it once and just went, uh, no. Okay, Rubicar mission. Is it even worth it for this guy? What's he going to give me? See what he gives me. Come on. Give me a job, dude. Straightforward, please. Goodbye. Ooh. Oh, rats. Pfft. Right, well, yeah, we're not doing that. Let's get the prisoner one. I'll do the same again with that. Alien one, probably something easy. Yeah, you see, I don't have to run around looking for a wrangle to cast this pet. And he's 220. But he is rather tough. Yes, he is. Salvage mission. Oh, I got the same mission twice. Surprise, surprise. So where's this guy at? I think on research? Yep. There is nothing left to do. It's all done. And then on AI? AI 30. Also all done. Okay, let's go find things. Follow, follow. So with the blockers, the massive ACs and reflects all part of your toolkit, Given the ACs, the blockers, and the reflector things you can share with other players, your utility in teams um, really makes you popular. Like that nuked me. So. Let's give it some. Did I even trim Twitch? I probably didn't. I'm going to. There we go. So weapons wise as well, he's a bit stronger. <laughs> Augmented Master Engineer Pistol, that was kind of fairly tough to make. Uh, and then that ain't easy to get either. Yeah, the Pew Air Pistol, really like that. So between the two, not bad. And then if you look at skills, um, his evades, they're not amazing. No, they're not. Um, you could go melee. Uh, ranged weapons, pistol at least is teal, as is grenades, a little harder to get higher, but heavy weapons, you know, there's some possibilities there. Nano and casting, useful in the skills you need, trade and repair, da, just about everything is green, teal, I think the worst one is breaking and entry. Funnily enough, comp lit. <laughs> so yeah, combat and healing about the same. But yeah, just having that difference in there, and then the perks that you get, they, uh, they do make a difference.
So, yeah. So, yeah, he, he's a more completed tune. Uh, he's got, what, a better token board, etc. Yeah, 300 commando armor, you know. Could do with a better armband there, though. Not sure why he's wearing that one. Do I not have the other thing? I've got a Bach and, you know, lots and lots of many, many lots of toys for him. Yes, I do. I could do with getting the better token board as well, but yeah. Let's go to Shadowlands and... Do I want to? Do we want to go to Shadowlands? Does he... He doesn't need any boots, so... Yeah, his perk set is um, a little better, I would say. Does that not? I thought this was that one. Oh, well. he's got boots, so what the hey. Now, the other thing he can do extremely well is this, a Maker's Touch, which is um, heal up your pet incredibly quickly, to the point where, with enough nano uh, <laughs> cost buffs, uh, I can keep the um, I can keep Twitchy alive while he's tanking uh, the Nightheart or someone like that quite easily, just chain casting the heal on him. You know, he's, it's nuts the amount of healing you can actually do in that respect. Uh, let's make sure we've got that. Yes, he does have um, Shadow Breed as well. As blind, we'll use it. Not to mention he gets bio shielding and stuff, so I mean look at his ACs for God's sake. And you can see just how quickly things die in front of him. Yes, because he has better weapons. But that's the point. You would struggle you would I don't even think you can get a pure on a uh, MP on pistol skill. I think you'd, you may get it on, but you would struggle like hell, um, for sure, to um, to dual wield it, 100% you would struggle. Yeah, I'm cast, casting an AOE blind automatically here because I've forgotten what my hotkeys are on this too. I remember struggling with some of the quests out here really on. But like only being like level 200 or something. And not having the bigger buffs, reflex, etc. Wow. Did someone mess with the doja drop rate? Because, damn. <laughs> that was fast. Is that what that guy was doing out here? Was he, was he waiting for one? Yeah, probably. Have a buff. Right, how are we doing? I've got, I, that was so quick. That was so quick. I can't even walk back to the garden. <laughs> Implants, what's he got? I think they're all beaters except for that one, which I needed for the weapon. And... I think I wear that one to troll people. Quality 50 first aid implant. <laughs> Just to wind people up. There's nothing that useful you can put in his left hand. I, I, I could. I could put a symbiont in there with a bit more first aid in it, yes. But not much. Oh yeah, and I need to do the thigh. I've never got round to doing it. Do I even have it? Did I get the thigh? Kind of a 12 man drop i'm not doing nevatra no way yeah and his uh, his ip is um kind of down to the bare bones but a lot of that was um down to this because the way this pistol kind of works um how do i want to explain this engineer burst and pistol must have lost eden what it doesn't tell you here is that it also benefits from having the skill required to make it, which is the um, is weapon smithing and mechanical engineering, which is why those are still as high as they are. You can do quite a bit of trade skilling stuff, but just not all of it. 
He's not like a pro, you know, weapon skiller. So there you go. None of those mobs were anything like a challenge. I don't need to hand that other thing in, so let's let's get ourselves off to the prisoner. It's raining again. Should I clear skies? And... Do, 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 do. Let's get the pets in. Right. Now, let's see how we do with the engineer. I mean, I don't blind him for very long, so not a lot of debuff, really. The, the AOE blind works best when there's multiple mobs. Because the blind doesn't break until I go and attack one of them. So it makes anything that's like an ad a lot weaker. Now, I can take this guy down quicker with the trader. But only because the trade is just nuts on damage and drains the, the living snot out of this. You can see how, how little he hits me for, how much it affects my health bar. I got like, uh, like, like 2k more HP. It's not a massive, it doesn't sound like a massive amount, but I was on the MP wearing um, OFAB armor. To give the two more HP and add death and you know just anything to be less gimp. But places like Pand, oh my god, he suffers. Or Inferno Hard, he suffers. If if he gets attacked, he's the first one to die. You know, unless he's teamed with an engineer, then he's got really high ACs and reflects, and you know it's not quite as bad. And good night. And nothing I actually want, but hey. There we go. I'm going to return back. Right. Remember to knock off Void Projector. Yeah. I did that running through... Uh, Alice flagged with Void Projector running. I was like a complete and utter target. It was funny though. I just ran through it. And I did it on video as well and like just nobody bothered attacking. It's like, it's an Engie. That's, that's, that's bait. <laughs> I think is what most people actually thought when they saw that. It's like, damn, that's bait that is. So yeah, there you go. So I, I just think Engie has a lot more utility than MP. Especially at endgame. You know. Oh, I shall buff my friend. Have I seized? And down we go. Actually, I shall give your pistol mastery if you don't have it already. So you probably do because you're buffing yourself with your soldier. So, yeah. So I've got a log, yes I do, and I'll hopefully get some editing done a little bit later. So yeah. Okay folks, bye for now.